dark as hell. We're fine to the end, I guess. Burn them all. Fourth circle greed. There we go. Eat a dick. Oh, crap. Oh. What? Beheaded you. You and fuck off. There. God damn these ugly fucks. Well, at least they're all dead now. Is that sound? Oh, that's what that sound was. Fair enough. All right, is in. Can I get over here? No. Darn, and I thought there'd be something interesting out there. Huh. That's just a light. I thought I saw something up there. All right, before we go towards plot. Yeah, before we go towards plot. Anything around here? Zip, nada, fuck all. All right. Ah, shit. Magnifico. More shock jocks. Blow up the pumps. God. God damn it, I'm trying to domino all of them. Guess that weren't on the cards. Time to die, jackass. Thank you. Thank you, William. God almighty. No! I refuse to let that happen. No darkness for me. Ow.
Yeah. Oh, you... You shithead. There, eat a dick. Alright, who's next? Oh. Ain't happening. Okay, now we have our way out. And I have my drink. Really? We. Oh my god, you couldn't get over a simple couch to get here. That's some stupidity. There you go. I saw a one. No. Just didn't. He just didn't uh, register the one beforehand. I've not missed any of these posters, have I? I hope not, because I'd like to hear the rest of the story. Another painting. What happened to the Huntress? Well. So impressed was the Lord of the Dead that he put her back together and made her his queen. Time and again he killed her, just to take pleasure in her proud refusal to be dead. But they say she's never stopped trying to claw her way back to the world of the living, where she knows she truly belongs. Isn't that a great story? Her courage is what inspired me to seek my own freedom. <laughs> huh. She sounds like one hell of a woman. Yeah. Saying... Like I said, would not surprise me if that is Paula. If the state, if the ta tale is true. Uh oh, now for some story reading. And circumstance. It was her turn to fetch the water, and Maris Grimm was determined to be done with it as soon as possible. Bucket in hand, she made her way down to the well by the wheat field. She and her two elder sisters were all beautiful. But on this windy day, Maris outshone them all. She was in love. Aww. Whoosh. The wheat bowed a greeting as the breeze caught it. And a good day to you, Maris giggled as her nipples responded to the weather and thoughts of her lover. My word, what is this storybook rated? <clears throat> good. She wound a pail of water to the top of the well. But no sooner had she grabbed the rope than she felt a sharp tug, lost her balance, and went tumbling into the gloom head first. Mother Fudge! Mother Fudge! cried Maris. Mother Fudge? Who really says that? An hour later, the sun sat lower in the sky as two figures approached the well. One was Maris's older sister, Colleen, and she was very concerned. The other was their faithful collie, Ow Ow. Help me, cried Maris from the bottom of the well. But as Colleen grabbed the rope to pull her sister up, she too was yanked into the darkness below. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Ow, ow, go get help, boy, cried Colleen. Oof, woofed ow, ow in response. But because he was a stupid collie, he instead grabbed the loose end of the rope and began to tug valiantly. Uh-oh. Crack-a-boom! Boom! Boom! Suddenly, a freak bolt of lightning lanced down from the sky and hit poor Ow Ow, causing the pooch to explode in a crimson blossom of slippery Ow Ow giblets. Oh! Poor stupid Ow Ow. Dude, animals! Right. My pet was smarter. Shh! Keep breathing. Wow, Garcia's really investing in the story. It was well after dark, and Maris and Colleen had all but given up hope when their eldest and wisest sister, Giltine, arrived on the scene. Where are you, sister? Was all she managed to utter, ere she slipped on Ow Ow's unctuous leftovers and fell down, down, down into the wicked well. 
plonkety rascal rabbitness. And with that, the sisters Grimm vanished from the world for seven full years. Oh, so these are where the Reapers came from. When they returned, they served a new master who had been smitten by their beauty. Though that beauty faded, his gift to them was theirs forever. The power to end lives as abruptly as fate had ended their own. The end. Hmm, I was hoping we'd find out why they all sound like men. Yes, yeah, so that's the Reapers we've been facing. We killed two of them. Just need one more, and we've got the set. Killed the. Really, she's singing again. Do you think they will ever write a book about us, Johnson? Honestly, I see you as more of a comic book hero. And anyway, it just so happens I've already been immortalized in prose. Really? What is this book called? Big bollocks. <laughs> Dirty testicles. Dude! Sorry, I ask. Oh, he's fucking. <laughs> Oh, that was just... Fuck the painting. Alright. Holy hell. Hallelujah, red gem. Awesome. Go. And now someone's throwing literature at me. Oh, I got all of the circumstances. Oh, big gem. Another red gem. Today I'm just having all sorts of luck. Um. There. Put it in the hot boner. Oh, this isn't good. Oh dear, I think the yeah. eldest sister Grimm is just a bit angry we've thinned out her money. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. God, you look like bitch. Oh. Okay. Are you laughing at you ugly bitch? Oh crap. Alright. Oh crap.
You know, bitch, you know that ass. Honestly, your sisters were a bigger challenge, and they were bigger bitches than you. You see? Blue gem! Blue gem! Give me the crack! Give me that! I mean, give me the blue gem, not the crack. Give me the blue gem. Now here's a pretty prize. Mm -hmm, I smell an upgrade. Plug it in, G. Alright, what should we get? The dentist! Oh, it's a goddamn Homer. All right, I gotta test this fucker out. I need some unwitting uh, subjects. By the way, the pain, the story of the, uh, of the Unbreakable Huntress, I feel like I should be seeing another painting of that. Like, I feel like there's, it, there's one more tale to be told about that. Wait, what was that? Ape Circle Fraud. Ain't that lovely. A shotgun worked out fabulously. 